Hey y'all, I'm back. It's your sister Ophira. So I am making unliving bread today. Baby girl's in the back. She's a little not feeling well, so she's fussy. But let's get to the unliving bread. So what I normally do is I make some cupcake pans and I make a big pan for myself, but the cupcake pan is more so for my son. Um, you got two sticks of melted butter, a cup and a half of sugar. Sorry it's not brown sugar, guys. I normally would try to use brown sugar, but I just have not mastered using the brown sugar and it's still coming out the same way. So we have a cup and a half of sugar, two cup of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna use two quarter cups of milk, four eggs, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. What I'm going to do first is I'm gonna mix all of my dry ingredients first in one bowl, and then I'm gonna mix all of my wet ingredients in the next bowl, and then I'm gonna use my handheld blender when I'm done to merge both of them together. Now, if you have time, the best way to make any kind of bread or cake is to mix it by hand. But because I'm pressed for time, it's almost a Sabbath, and I want to be done before the sun is down. I want to end up cleaning up the kitchen before the sun's down. Um, I'm going to use my handheld blender. So I'll be back, you guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. So what I've done so far is I just cracked the eggs, put them in a bowl. I got two cups of all-purpose flour, like I said. So I'm going to start with the dry ingredients first. One cup of sugar. Half cup of sugar. My family loves um, ginger and cinnamon, so I normally always put a few shakes of ginger as much as I possibly can. And also some uh, cinnamon flavor. I get that in there as well. Now, it's up to you. You don't really need to put this, but I just love that extra flavor in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our whisk and just mix all of this together. Once all of this is all mixed together, then I'm gonna go ahead and mix the dry ingredients. We don't necessarily need the handheld blender for this part, but um, mixing the wet ingredients. So you push that to the side and you start with the wet ingredients. So now I have my two sticks of melted butter I also have my vanilla extract, the eggs, and I said we're going to do two quarters of the milk. So here goes my quarter measurement, and I'm just going to do two of those. So one. And two. Ooh. I made a mess, y'all. Well, that's all right. We all spill something sometimes, right? So, what do you do? You get a rag and you clean it up. So that's what we're doing. Bounty, bounty. So now that that's cleaned up, let's go ahead and continue with our unleavened bread. So I'm going to plug in my handheld blender. I'm going to get this mixed all up. Once it's mixed up, then I'll come back and show you how I mix it with the dry ingredients. Okay, so I'm back and um, like I promised, I'm just going to show you how I mix it, which is pretty simple. Once I mix all the dry and in dry ingredients, in one bowl, the wet ingredients in the next. I just simply pour it right down the middle. Um, and because I'm using one hand, I got to do everything uh, with one hand. So I'm just gonna put my uh, blender on one so that way um, my flour don't mix all over the place. So I like to get a little hole going and try to get the flour as moist as I possibly can before it starts flying all over the kitchen guys and once I do that just turn it on start blending and I'll show you the uh, the end results when I'm done <laughs> so 
So while I'm mixing, I like to pause and make sure that I scrape down the sides of the bowl and get all the flour and all the ingredients incorporated. So just scrape all that down. Make sure you get all the way down to the bottom because sometimes um, when you're mixing and blending, the flour at the bottom doesn't actually get blended on the side of the bowl. So you want to make sure you're getting all that goodness from down there. Scrape it all into the middle. And continue. As you can see, guys, good consistency. As I said, if you got time, please, please do the mixing by hand. The more love you put into your food, the better it tastes. Okay, y'all, so I'm all done. I am going to put both pans, well, all three anyway, into the oven. My oven is preheated at 350 degrees. I'm going to leave it in there for 20 minutes. I'm going to turn the oven off. And then I'm going to let the heat of the oven continue cooking it for five minutes and then take it out. When I'm done, I'm going to show you the results. Hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your comments, and check out my links in the bottom. I do have an Etsy shop, and I would love for you guys to go check it out, see if there's anything that you would love. I'm sure there is. And check me out on my next video. Bye.